Good evening, everyone, and thanks for having us in for news tonight. I'm Tom Lewis. And I'm Amy Hoyt. The state attorney's office will not press charges against the man who killed two young children in a crash at Coconut Creek Family Fun Park. They say he was not under the influence of any drugs or alcohol and not on his phone at the time of the crash. News 13's Thomas Schultz joins us live in Panama City from the state attorney's office. Thomas, what led to this decision? Amy, State Attorney Larry Basford says there was insufficient evidence to charge the driver with manslaughter or vehicular homicide. On December 4th of 2020, authorities say Scott Donaldson had a seizure and lost control of his pickup truck while driving on Front Beach Road. His truck jumped a curb and hit and killed four-year-old Baylor, Kurt Gessner, and his six-year-old sister Addie at the Coconut Creek Family Fun Park. Donaldson hasn't driven since then, but next week he's eligible to have his license reinstated. I've written a letter to the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, the Medical Advisory Board, requesting, strongly requesting, that they permanently revoke Donaldson's privilege to drive in the state of Florida. Following the crash, State Attorney Larry Basford says Donaldson was tested for more than 100 different substances, but there were no illegal substances in his body. Basford says Donaldson was diagnosed with epilepsy 20 years ago. Blood samples found Donaldson had taken a regular dose of his prescribed seizure medicine, Lamictal. The factors against a prosecution outweighed the factors in favor of a prosecution. Donaldson had three prior seizures while driving. Basford says all three led to crashes in 2011, 2016, and 2018. Donaldson regained driving privileges after the 2016 and 2018 crashes after submitting a medical report from his physician to the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles Medical Advisory. At the time of this crash, the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles had reinstated his privilege to drive. In a letter to the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles, Basford says he asked to change the rules across the state to avoid tragedies like this in the future. Donaldson's attorney, Waylon Graham, doesn't believe Donaldson will ask for his license back anytime soon. The quick answer is, I think not. Basford says that the investigation took more than a year because all of the lab tests that were conducted. Now, Thomas, when did Basford submit his letter to the Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles asking that Donaldson's driving privileges not be restored? Amy Basford mailed that letter today. He's also also asking in that letter that patients with valid driver's license in epilepsy that that be taken under further consideration. All right.